Hello again. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, it's been a long time since I posted a video, but uh, I've really had nothing of great interest to, to show you. Um, since I got rid of my machines, I've had a terrible itch to uh, get another lathe, and uh, today's the day the new one arrives. I've decided to uh, only get a mini lathe so that it uh, is more easily manoeuvred I suppose around the workshop if necessary and uh, one or two other bits and bobs are coming. Uh, it's what is it? No, oh, it's Valentine's Day today so middle of February and uh, halfway into the Chinese New Year so consequently nothing's being shipped from China at the moment and uh, I'm gonna have to wait for bits and bobs but uh, such is life. Anyway let's get on with the video. Remember this from uh, when all my machines went? Well look what uh, dropped through my letterbox this morning at uh, 8 o'clock. Brand new tool chest. And uh, that's what my new lathe's going on. Hopefully the lathe will be here in about an hour or so according to the delivery company. And uh, when it does I'll bring you some more shots. And now some five hours or so later this has arrived. I've just finished unpacking. As you can probably hear I'm uh, out of puff. So I'm going to stop now and carry on tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably have to get next door to come around and give us a hand lifting it onto the bench. But uh, I'll read the instructions in the meantime which is a bit, probably be a first for me. But there we go. First time for everything. Slightly more than uh, 24 hours have passed since uh, I last showed you a shot of the lathe and here it is mounted on the uh, new bench. Um, it's a little bit uh, wobbly on its wheels but uh, it's gonna, gonna do. Uh, as supplied the lathe doesn't come fitted with feet although they are supplied um, and under here well, I had to drill the holes for the mounting bolts, uh, which uh, you can just see one of them there. Uh, so I've drilled the four mounting holes for the rubber feet, screwed those on, tipped the lathe up the right way, um, check that uh, everything goes backwards and forwards as it should. The carriage. It is a little stiff for my liking um, and I think I'm going to have to obviously uh, adjust the gibs here as well as on the uh, top side. Not quite so much, well I'll check them but uh, this moves a little more smoothly on the uh, on the cross slide but the carriage is a bit stiff however shall we switch it on yeah I reckon so now dire warnings here to put the speed control knob to the lowest speed position before you switch it on and well mains on No light, no rev counter. Oh, ah, oh, you probably have to select a direction. So let's go forwards. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's the slowest. Doesn't actually have a stop position. And according to this, it's 90 RPM. Just to 
shade over 900 RPM. The history is going on. back and engage the tumbler gears RPM as soon as you switch on. But there we go. That is it. It's got a um, what you would call it. Uh, name escapes me for the moment. Uh, thread dial indicator. Is the word not engaged at the moment? It's got a 16T on it. Oh, I've seen some little gubbins like that in the bag of goodies that came with it. Uh, different numbered teeth, I guess. So, I need to do a bit of reading up before I get the electronic lead screw fitted. I might need that to do some thread cutting. But in the meantime, I've got to do a 10mm square um, lathe tool in the four way post. Don't like these things. And uh, center in the tail stock and the tool needs a little shimming up a bit to get it up to center height but uh, I'm not going to do that for the moment um, mainly because I haven't got any shims or any shim stock I suppose but there we go uh, alright I'll have another little fettle around with it and bring you back when there's something significant to tell you You will have heard in the previous shot uh, the racket the lathe makes because it's got metal change gears I found um, and I don't know that I can live with that for very long so it spurred me on to order the parts for the electronic lead screw which are uh, on their way, should be here next week but I don't expect to get them mounted very soon uh, I've got more jobs to do the, before that, so don't expect much progress on that front. But in the meantime, let me just demonstrate the uh, uh, noise, reduction in noise, not a great deal, but some of the uh, noise the lathe makes without the uh, gears running um, 
Let me now engage the gears. And uh, you'll notice the difference. See what I mean? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, another update on that, like I say, when the uh, electronic lead screw parts come, I don't know how long that will be, the majority of the stepper motor etc will be coming next week I hope. And the actual control box, uh, I've decided to go with uh, an electronic lead screw uh, system from France. Um, uh, that's been posted, but what with the postal system, I don't know how long that's going to be. Could be up to 10 days, I suppose. When it comes, I'll, uh, I'll feature it in a little video and explain what goes on. In the meantime, I'll just take you over and show you one or two bits that came with the lathe and then I think that'll probably be it. Uh, just a quick run through of the bits and bobs that came with the lathe. Uh, sorry, this is handheld so it might be a bit wobbly. Three spanners. A, a set of uh, Allen keys. Chuck key, of course. Spare fuse just in case. Um, a centre for the tailstock and centre for the headstock spindle. Spare jaws for outside jaws they are for the chuck um, and I've printed off a storage tray for them. Likewise the spare change gears 260s, 250s 45, 240s, 35 and a 30, so that should give a range of gear cutting, uh, not gear cutting, thread cutting uh, uh, situations. Spare pinions for the, that's not in focus, come on, for the um, thread dial indicator. Three of them with the lathe, two here, and one already mounted on the uh, thread dial indicator. Additionally, I purchased this um, faceplate, 160mm diameter, sitting in its cardboard box to protect the uh, sponge layer on the on the drawer. Set of indexable 10 by. 10 mil uh, lathe tools. Um, I haven't got any spare inserts with it yet. Uh, I had already got um, a two morse taper ER25 collet and a three morse taper um, ER25 collet. So. Purchased a set of new collets. The old set went with the old lathe and mill. Um, more of this are non, but uh, these are ER11 collet set, which I've printed out a storage tray for as well. Um, some while ago, I got a set of cheap reamers, um, and again, I've printed out a storage tray for those. Clever, eh? Anyway, more about those ER collet, ER11 collets uh, very shortly. And I think this will probably round off the this uh, particular video till some more bits arrived, but um, to pick up on the ER11 collet set what I've done is, um, you may have seen in an earlier video, I made a 
plastic drill stand which wasn't really rigid enough so I printed out a mount and this is in PLA until I get the actual um, multi-fix fitting and when it goes on here it, mount, it will mount on the uh, on the tool post on here can't go down any further because it's got the uh, tool sticking out but that will provide a limited drilling stroke milling facility um, axially and by flipping it round and mounting the thing up the other way I'll be able to do a little bit of um, radial drilling as well um, not a very powerful motor uh, hardly pulls the skin off a of rice pudding I should think and so whether it's going to work or not I don't know but uh, if it does I'll show it on video and if it doesn't well I'll probably show it on video as well so you can uh, be warned not to do it yourself if you fancy following that route so there we are, That's um, you're all up to date now as far as bits and bobs for the lathes concerned. And um, it just remains for me to say, if you have been, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.